When you think of a skeleton, you probably imagine the human skeleton with its familiar skull, rib cage, spine, and other bones. Humans are vertebrates, meaning we have backbones. Our skeletons are inside our bodies, so we call them endoskeletons. The prefix endo means within. Your skeleton is like a frame. It supports your body and allows it to move. It also protects your important organs. Your skull protects your brain, while your lungs and heart are protected by your rib cage. Humans are not the only species with an endoskeleton. Other vertebrates include amphibians, reptiles, fish, mammals, and birds. Many marine animals have endoskeletons. These include whales, dolphins, polar bears, manatees, penguins, gulls, and at least 20,000 species of fish. Exoskeletons. Only around 10% of all living animal species are vertebrates. The other 90% are known as invertebrates. They don't have backbones. In fact, they don't have any bones at all. They have exoskeletons. That's right. Their skeletons are on the outside of their body. One type of exoskeleton is called a hydrostatic skeleton. It is a water-based skeleton, which makes the animals very flexible. They can squeeze through small gaps, making it easier to get away from predators. Most of these animals live in the ocean. They include jellyfish, octopuses, and starfish, but also slugs and worms. Other exoskeletons, such as those of crabs, oysters, and sea urchins, are hard and provide extra protection from predators. However, wearing this armor all the time makes it difficult to move freely, at least compared to the graceful gliding of a fish or the impressive acrobatics of a pod of dolphins. Another problem is that this sort of exoskeleton does not grow, but the animal inside it does. Every so often, the animal will have to shed its exoskeleton and grow a new, bigger one. Or, in the case of a hermit crab, it will leave its old shell behind and move into a new one. Think of it like a soldier taking off all their armor. When an invertebrate sheds its exoskeleton, it is vulnerable to predators. So there you have it. Some animals, like clownfish and polar bears, have endoskeletons. Others, like jellyfish and crabs, have exoskeletons. But wait, what about a turtle? That's for you to figure out.